Business Jinjin is this Jinjin. It's the same one you always see here. Hey guys, I am getting ready for a job interview. So if you guys remember, I had done an interview with a company that I was super, super excited about back the Monday before Thanksgiving. And then I never heard from them again. Well, I heard from them. And so they want me to do a second interview with them today. So that's what I'm getting ready for. A towel, because I use a beauty blender and so you have to wet it and then dry it before you use it. So anyway, I thought I would talk to you guys about it because I'm excited about it. Basically, I just wanted to chit chat. I'm gonna actually use this pink color like on my actual eyelids, which this is the Tarte, what is this? Like unicorn palette or something? I don't know what it's called. It's the Tarte palette that looks like this. They probably don't make it anymore. It's um, a collab between Sugar Rush and Tarte. So this interview is actually the second interview and I'm not sure if they're gonna like tell me if I'm hired today or not. You know, I mean, obviously I hope if they're going to hire me, they go ahead and say yeah. Just because I feel like, I basically wanna know what to plan on. So that's kind of my hopes. I mean, obviously I hope that they tell me when they'll let me know by if they don't tell me today, like if they're not like, cool, you're hired. Um, but I actually feel really good because I told you guys that I felt like last time that I really got along well with that, the um, woman that I would be working closely with. And then whenever she didn't ever call me back, I was like thinking, I was honestly feeling like maybe I misread the situation. Um, and I think because I have been told that I do that, like that I'll be like thinking everything's fine and cool and then it's really not. Like I, and I don't know that that actually is true. I think that might be like some gaslighting stuff that happened, but I don't know and I really can't distinguish that, if that makes sense. So whenever I heard back from her and it was like, cool, okay, awesome. Cool that I didn't misread the situation basically. Today I'm meeting with the owner, which would be, I guess I'm assuming she's probably the decision maker in this but probably kind of not really and i'll explain that let me wet my beauty blender so a lot of the places that i've worked were is small businesses where you know maybe there's an owner and you don't really work with the owner like necessarily like closely you work with somebody else closely um a lot of times the person that you will work with is technically like the decision maker but the owner usually will meet with you too and just kind of let you know basically make sure they feel like it's a good situation too. So I kind of feel like that is the situation. I don't know, of course, because I'm not in their company yet, <laughs> but I kind of think that is the situation. I kind of think the woman I met with is probably the main one that's like gonna make a decision on it. But then, you know, the other woman who actually owns it and will be signing paychecks and stuff, you know, obviously she wants to meet as well. But even if they don't hire me, that's okay. I still feel validated that they at least called me back because last time I was like, oh no, you know, if they're not calling back, then, you know, I totally misread everything. But the fact that they even wanted to do a second interview, it makes me feel like, okay, cool. And there's always a chance that the woman who actually signs the paychecks will not get the same vibe from me as the first woman. And sometimes you don't get along with everybody in a company and that's okay. So, you know, me and her might not hit it off and that's fine, but I sure hope we do. I'm just really excited. It seems like a good place to work. I mean, of course you never know until you get in a company if it's really gonna be a good place to work or not, right? But I think it seems like it will be a good place as far as at least their culture goes, like what they believe in and like what they stand for and stuff. So hopefully that will make a good like work balance for me. I'm a big believer in things will happen if they're supposed to and everything happens for a reason and all of that. So I'm, I feel like even if I'm thinking like, oh my God, I wish I'd gotten it and I don't or whatever, like I feel like, you know, I'm where I'm supposed to be and all that. It's sometimes hard to keep that in sight though and like not feel down on yourself or not feel like you're like, oh my God, what's gonna happen? But I don't know. Guys, I broke my brush the other day. My, um, I had a like an actual brush with a handle. I have a travel tangle teaser right now for a hairbrush and I don't wanna spend money on a brush because I just don't wanna spend extra money on a hairbrush right this second. I have a ton of hair and this thing is like a travel hairbrush. <laughs> oh my God. It sounds awful too. That's why I don't like this hairbrush because it doesn't have a handle. And so if it gets stuck in your hair, like you're just, you're not, you don't have anything to really grip. If you guys ever wonder where Fairby is, she's right here sitting in the window. 
whenever I'm in the bathroom. So if you ever like, why is she not with Faraby? Faraby is right here. It's just, you can't see her because you can see me. Ah! <laughs> All right, so I maybe should have done my hair until afterwards. I feel like every time I'm getting ready for a job interview, it's the exact same scene you guys get. It's like me getting ready and then looking for socks because I always want socks on. Of course, because it's winter time and you get Farabee's little sweet baby nose. <laughs> you see the camera? Okay. All right, so, oh, she thinks we're going somewhere because I have on a go bye bye dress. We're not going bye bye. All right, this is my outfit. <laughs> so, it is super clinging on my pants because I actually have leggings on that are not meant to go under something. But it's cold, so I don't have any shame in that. It just is what it is. So, yeah, now we're gonna go in the office and go do my interview. So, wish me luck. I will obviously update you guys in a minute. So, I think that went well. I got to actually meet the woman who runs the company and, you know, is the, the main one. And she's super, super nice. But, you know, you ever meet with people and you're just like, wow, this person is like, um, just top notch. <laughs> and you almost feel like maybe you're not. Um, that's kind of how I felt with her and not in a bad way. Like she's extremely well-spoken. I mean, she's just like, you know, a person who thinks before she speaks like and actually gets her sentence completely together in her mind before it comes out of her mouth. It seems like she's not a person who's afraid of like a long pause before she actually speaks which is something that you guys know I'm not good at. Um, so whenever I talk to somebody who speaks that well and like, you know, it's not scripted and I know they're just sitting here talking to me in that way, it makes me realize that I don't do that. <laughs> so, um, but she's super nice. Everybody, I mean, it's just, just the two people that I met with, but they're both super, super nice. But I'm definitely the most hyper of the three of us that were on the call and it shows and it's just like oh I hope that was okay because I mean I know I'm hyper guys like I can't help it like I just am hyper um and unfortunately what you see is literally what everyone else sees too <laughs> business Jinjin is this Jinjin it's the same one you always see here sometimes that might not be good this is the only thing that I didn't love it's just that they don't have an exact date of when they'll hire. They said before the holidays. I wanna know like now, you know? <laughs> like I wanna know like sooner than before the holidays. I don't know what day it is actually. Probably within like two weeks, but I would like to actually know before then. So I really, really like it though. Like I like everything about those people and I, I feel like I could be really successful at the job. I just wish that I knew when they were actually gonna for sure hire. I mean, they said before the holidays, but that doesn't really give me an exact date. You know what I mean? I feel like, uh, um, what's it called? Like a gnome or something in this, in a good way. <laughs> this is my little sweater. And um, what is this called? So it's Comfort Fig Cardi by Andrea Mowry. And I did mine with yarn from my shop, which is no longer a thing, but I dyed all the yarn for it. Um, yeah, so I dyed all of my yarn, knit it, and then it's not supposed to have a button, but I put a button on it. So and I know this undershirt doesn't go, so. It's supposed to hang like this. And you're not supposed to have a button. It's comfort, it's comfortable. <laughs> it's comfortable. Hi. I was watching somebody's Vlogmas the other day, yesterday, last night, and they're like, Vlogmas is a grind. And I'm like, no way, man. You, <laughs> you're not telling me anything. Hold on. Let me see if I can make this tighter. I'm ready for a day off. <laughs> I'll be honest with y'all. I probably had not taken any time off since Thanksgiving. Okay. So, which doesn't seem like it's been a long time, but I mean, I'm talking every single day. So I'm kind of ready to have a day off. Okay, give me a second. Ready, spin. Good job. I'm gonna start editing this back and start being like, oh wow, you totally lost your train of thought. Um, oh, I know what I was telling you guys. So I just feel like 
I haven't had a day off in a while and I'm not complaining because I'm so thankful for everyone who watches. <laughs> like, I don't care how much I have to work. Like, I appreciate you being here watching. And I've mentioned this to you guys before, way before Vlogmas. I feel like whenever I have the energy and whenever I physically can go and do stuff, I feel like I need to hustle. I just know that whenever I get burnt out, it's gonna be like over for a few days or maybe only one day or maybe a month. You don't ever know. So I just like to hustle while I can, but at the same time, it would be super nice to chill. Ooh, I need to turn the heater on y'all. Yeah, it's 61. I don't know. I'm gonna take a second and try to relax. And I feel like I've been neglecting therapy and not really. I mean, we're together all the time, but like, you know, being together in a physical space is not the same thing as like taking time and like, you know, snuggling and looking, to, looking into each other's eyes and like, you know, playing together and, you know, interacting with each other in a more than two second way. So we just really need that for a minute. I don't ever want her to feel like she's not loved. And you know, if you've been in the room with somebody who's always on their phone or always on their computer, it doesn't matter if you're like this and like on your phone or not, like it still is not the same. So she needs that too. So we're gonna do that today. But I hope you have a good day. If we don't see you again, thank you for watching. Vlogmas, whatever this day is. Bye guys.